I typically don't tell the quarterback who to throw it to. I typically tell him to throw it to the open guy, you know, which we wasn't doing a very good job of that before. So maybe we're getting that concept. What about Kemp's second half running? How much did that help? Kid, I mean, absolutely stepped up when it was crucial and grinded it out and gave us an opportunity to win the game. Couldn't be more proud of a kid than I am him. Coach, I'm sure you've already talked about this. Can you just talk about Patrick's play overall? I thought he played extremely consistent. I mean, the kid, I mean, I, don't, I didn't look at the 22 of 27, yeah. 249 and 2. No turnovers. We were good on third downs, and mainly, mainly because of him. When things broke down, he, he used his feet. I mean, everything that we want him to do that we knew eventually he would do if he just overall comfort level, you know. I thought that I felt that this week of practice and just leading up to this game, it was he was way more comfortable in his own skin, you know, for whatever reason. And so I mean I think that part of it is is just stay in the course. And that's what people don't understand is you gotta stay the course, you know. Stay the course and things are typically gonna work out. On his uh, touchdown run, what was the real play that was called that he improvised went one side, then spun and went the other way? Well, he wanted that play. I didn't want that play. And I'll be the first to tell you because I told him because it was a it was a break, what well, the quarter break, right? And then uh, it was third down and twelve or whatever, and I knew their ends were gonna be coming up field. And he wanted to run boot, which boot you really want the end to kinda you want to run that in a normal down where the end it will go down on run, you know, and kind of we got a guy wrapping around the blocking, but it takes a second. And so I told him in the huddle, I said I had another play I wanted to run, and he said, he said, what do you think about um, what do you think about boot? And I said, it's third down, third and long is not a good time to run boot. And I said that end's gonna come straight up the field. He said I don't care. I said go for it, big boy. <laughs> <laughs> so he talked you into the touchdown play. Yeah. I mean, he's the one out, yeah. I mean, he wants it, he got it, and he scored. So it was a terrible call into that defense. <laughs> he made it work. But that's part of it, too. I mean, he's, he's, he's athletic enough to make things work when it's bad. And that's when you get better, you know, because you're not going to call perfect plays. That's just – that's life. Every now and again, you'll get them in cover, too, like we did with CJ or whatever, you know. But for the most part, you got to go through your progressions and things break down. Use your feet when you're athletic and, and make plays and make make us look good, you know, which he did tonight. What, what, did, he show, what did he show you by just the way he responded this week? With things um, not going the way, I mean, did you think his experience showed through this week? I think so, but I think that overall just relationship and comfort level, I mean, I told him Sunday when we met that we're not going to panic. I don't care what – I don't care what anybody says around here. I don't care what anybody – I mean, you can say whatever you want to. We're not going to panic. We're going to stay the course because I know – I know what can happen. I've seen it, and I've seen it with these guys. So my message to him and the whole group was stay the course. Block out everything. Block out negative forces. Block out negative, um, negative language and stay the course and believe. And that's, that was basically it. You let him run that play just for his own personal growth kind of to – on his own. Uh, he felt good about it. I told him what the end was going to do. <laughs> so he scored. So. Yeah.